It took me 11 months to complete Horizon Forbidden West. 11 months. Not because I was busy or I wasn't gaming, but because I could only play the game in short sessions before literally falling asleep. And I know that sounds harsh, but <laughs> it's the truth, man. Horizon Forbidden West might be the most uninspiring, boring AAA game I've played in recent memory. And I can already feel it. The wave of hate I'm going to get, but it's cool. It's my opinion. If you love the game, great. And I respect your opinion. You see, we can coexist and have different views and thoughts. Who would have thought? All right, so hear me out. It took me about 36 hours to complete Horizon Forbidden West main story. I also did quite a few side quests as well. And when I got to the credits, all I felt was nothing. Absolutely nothing. I've been wondering, what is it about this game that's not connecting with me? And I pretty much concluded that Horizon Forbidden West is a visually stunning game, but a soulless experience. It's a technical marvel and one of the best looking games you could play on PS5. The level of detail on the character models, the environments, and the machines are incredible. Plus, the performance is great on the PS5, but at the same time, it has some of the most bland, soulless, robotic cast of characters in gaming. And this becomes really apparent after experiencing games like God of War Ragnarok, where there's an amazing cast of characters, great acting, and great character story arcs. For a game that has you partake in endless dialogue, I feel like Horizon has failed to make me care about Aloy and her journey. Even moments that are meant to be powerful and impactful typically fall flat due to the robotic performance of Ashley Birch. For example, spoiler alert, when Varl gets killed by Eric, you know, the far Zenith guy, the, the emotion displayed was so weak, and this is supposed to be one of the biggest supporting characters in the game. I mean, of course, they got to kill the brother first. <laughs> That's crazy. And the way that everyone, you know, acted after his death, it felt like they all moved on with the quickness. The character death was literally meaningless and didn't add anything to the story or the development of Aloy as a character. There's quite a few moments like this in the game where nothing really hits home. It's crazy because when you get down to it, the world of Horizon actually has some pretty interesting lore, but it never really comes together properly in the main narrative. Aloy being a genetic clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a prominent scientist from the 21st century who created a powerful AI to stop a swarm of sentient killer robots that destroyed all life on Earth. This AI is so advanced that it terraformed the planet and also reseeded life on Earth and rebirthed a whole new generation of humans. So why is this game so boring? <laughs> I guess when you have a poor cast of characters and poor acting, these are the results. When it comes to the gameplay, the novelty of fighting robot dinosaurs has worn off for me. It was such a cool, innovative idea in Zero Dawn, but overall, the gameplay loop has grown stale for me. Scan machines, exploit elemental weakness, shoot weak spots. I know they try to improve the core gameplay loop by adding new mechanics like the Valor system, weapon stamina for your weapon techniques and meals, but I feel like these mechanics were just added just because, not because it actually really improves the player experience. I really had no reason to make meals throughout my entire playthrough, where in a game like Breath of the Wild, it's literally vital for your survival. I've spoken to quite a few people that didn't enjoy Forbidden West as much as Zero Dawn, and they all have similar thoughts about the game feeling bloated with a lot of unnecessary mechanics. It feels a lot more grindy than Horizon Zero Dawn as well, and I totally agree. Some of my biggest gripes about Horizon Zero Dawn have been hardly improved in Horizon Forbidden West as well. The human encounters are still not fun, and the traversal still feels a little clunky in my personal opinion, especially climbing. When I first started the game, I made it a mission to try and do as much side content as possible, but it quickly got repetitive and boring. Someone is missing. You follow the tracks. Oh, the person is dead or needs saving from a machine. A lot of the side quests felt like busy work, which is never fun. They try to mix it up a little bit with gauntlet runs and machine strike mini games, but I felt like it's more fluff in already another busy, fluffy open world game.
In the future, I hope that Gorilla Games focuses more on improving the player's connection with Aloy with a better narrative, and I hope to see real meaningful changes to its core gameplay versus tacking on features just because. Sometimes, less is more. So, am I bugging? Let me know how you felt about Horizon Forbidden West in the comment section below. The game has been out for quite a long time now, so I know the honeymoon phase is over. So let me know your true thoughts about it. Did you find it a little bit underwhelming? Did you find it kind of boring? Or am I alone on this cliff myself? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe for more quality content. Peace.